Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today I'm showing you the new app that was just released by Google. It is called Photoscan. Photoscan will basically scan all your old photos. Obviously it's one by one, uh, which means it will scan it probably slowly but efficiently. Now, uh, if you want to back up your old photo that was probably uh, taken many years ago and it's on paper or sort of paper, uh, you probably uh, want to back up it digitally today because, you know, anything can happen. Now, if you'll just take a photo of your photo or take a scanner, it will take much of effort and if you're taking a photo of a photo, you know, you can get glare and stuff like that. So, uh, basically, Photoscan does something different. Let me just show you. Now, here I have my uh, Japan Rail Pass, which uh, uh, kind of sort of a memory from my uh, trip to Japan. So, okay, so let me show you how it works. So basically because it's dark, uh, it will uh, automatically enable flash. Let's go ahead. Now basically uh, you need to take sort of a regular photo, like this, and then you'll receive four dots. You need to move your phone uh, to each dot. It will sort of scan uh, the photo uh, from every uh, point and this way uh, it acts sort of like anti-glare here you go almost yeah and this is sort of uh, will build a whole new photo you'll see it in a moment currently it's processing uh, basically it will uh, give you a high resolution, high quality photo without any glare, uh, any issues and it will automatically sync it to your Google Photos. So uh, it's always saved and backed up and as Google Photos does it will uh, always, uh, you know, uh, combine all the photos with the same persons from same places and etc. Now uh, currently it takes longer than uh, it took me the previous time I checked this app but yeah here it is uh, after it's scanned you can uh, adjust it, you can rotate it you can adjust corners, let's see if it gives you something else, no uh, and if I'll try to zoom in you can see that the quality is uh, pretty good um, now obviously uh, the print itself on the on this Japan Rail Pass isn't that high quality uh, but it does its job and I think it does it pretty good uh, so uh, yeah that's pretty much uh, it about this app uh, I'll give a link to the blog and to where to you can get it for free from Google from a Play Store uh, I know that there is a version for uh, iPhones as well uh, so keep that in mind and that's it see you in the next one